In this video, I am going to show you how to make the bed all by yourself. Now, I'm not talking about how to make the bed hotel style where it's all really fancy. I am talking about it is laundry day and you have washed all of the sheets in the house and now you've got to hurry and make all of the beds because the kids are gonna get home soon and you only have a half an hour and then you've got to move on to other things kind of making the bed. And when you're all by yourself, as you know, making the bed can look a little bit like this. such a pain and it really takes up a lot of time and frankly is just frustrating. So I have a technique that I'm gonna show you that eliminates all of that frustration and makes it a whole lot faster. But, but first, if you're new here, welcome to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. My name is Diana and on this channel, we love to clean and organize and disinfect. And so if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell so that you are notified of our future videos. And hey, hit the like button if you also like to find the fastest and easiest ways to do jobs like making the bed. For now, without any further ado, let's dive in. First things first, if you've watched our videos at all, you will know that we are huge mattress protector advocates. I mean, we spend a lot of money on our mattresses. Mattresses are not cheap anymore. And why wouldn't you wanna protect that with something as simple as a mattress pad? This one right here is from Coop. We love this mattress protector a lot. We have mattress protectors on every single one of our beds, including um, all of our children's bed. It's a small investment that will save you the headache of having to deal with blood or pee or sweat or any other spills that can get on your mattress. So trust me on this one, get yourself a mattress protector. But now I'm gonna show you how to make the bed. Okay, so for the first tip, don't you hate it when you try to put on your fitted sheet and you put one corner on and then you go to do the other corner and you realize that you have the wrong two corners and it's always hard to tell which part goes on the top, which goes on the bottom. So here is a secret tip to help you know. Every fitted sheet has a tag. So what you wanna do is you wanna find that tag. Cut that out. Most fitted sheets are gonna have a tag, and if it does, then you wanna put the tag on the bottom right corner, that's where it goes. Now, if it doesn't have a tag, an easy thing to do is just take a little bit of, a little permanent marker and mark the bottom right corner so that you always know that when you see that part, that little mark, that that's always gonna go right here, and then that will help you to follow um, the short ends and the long ends, so that then you always know that you are putting your sheet on the right direction. Oh, mine does have it. <laughs> so I have my tag and it is here on the bottom right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just put that on the corner. And then I'm gonna follow it up and put the other corner at the top. And once you do that, Make sure that you try to loop the corner of the sheet all the way down underneath the mattress. Don't let it stay halfway. Make sure that it goes all the way down so that it tucks underneath the mattress. And then from there, you take the other half and you just kind of leave it. You just kind of throw it halfway up the bed and you leave it. I know that's very unconventional, but then the next thing you're gonna do is you are gonna get your flat sheet. And with your flat sheet, you are basically going to lay the flat sheet out on one side of the bed as you would normally do it on the whole side of the bed. So this part takes a little bit of practice because you need to know how far down the bed your flat sheet goes. The more you do this, the more you'll know how far down the flat sheet will go on one side so that it is even on the other side. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. I'm gonna leave the other half of the flat sheet right there, just halfway done. And then I'm gonna, of course, grab my comforter and I'm gonna do the exact same thing with my comforter as I did with my flat sheet.
Then I'm going to pull the comforter back just to expose the fitted sheet and the flat sheet on this other side. And then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go over to the other side. Now you've got the fitted sheet and then the flat sheet and the comforter kind of all securing this side of the bed. So it's not going to flip up when you're doing the other side. So what you want to do on this side is reach under, grab the fitted sheet, pull that down real well. And remember, you already pulled the fitted sheet well under the mattress, so it's not going to pull up on this side. And the same with the top. You pull this down, then you grab the flat sheet, pull that down. See where we're going with this? This is so much easier. And then you reach across and you grab the comforter. And that's it. You know, from there you can fix it up and spruce it up however you like to make it look pretty. You can add all of your decorative pillows, just whatever you do to make your bed look pretty. And that is the gist of it. I'm gonna show you one more time. It went pretty slow because I was taking my time showing you how to do it step by step. Again, let me point out, you, when the bed is made, you wanna take a note at how far down the comforter and the flat sheet go on either side so that when you're on the first side, you can make sure that the comforter and the flat sheet go down to about the height that you expect it to so that both sides are even. I'm gonna take the bed apart and then show you how to do it again without stopping so you can kinda of see the whole thing all in order. Alright, so starting with the tag in the right corner. with the rest of your day because I know you've got a lot to do. So this works with a king size bed as well. I don't have a king size bed, just a queen size bed, but I think this is even more helpful when you're trying to make a king size bed by yourself. But I hope it was helpful for you. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you know somebody who has a bed and is making their bed by themselves, share this with them because I guarantee they're gonna love how much faster it is to make their bed if they have to make it by themselves. Also make sure to subscribe to Queen Cooking Dermot Folk and hit the notification bell. And up next, if you do wanna see how to make a bed like the hotels do, I will link to that right here. So go ahead and click on that and we will see you over there.